Welcome to Dorman Products Ford Key Fob Installation Video. This installation is considered easy, no extensive car knowledge is needed. The estimated amount of time needed to complete this installation is 10 to 15 minutes. Before you begin, we recommend reading all instructions prior to attempting programming. You must have at least one working keyless entry remote to perform this installation. Warning: Be sure to have all previously programmed and non-programmed remotes for this install. All previous remotes not relearned during this installation will no longer be paired to your vehicle. To begin the installation process, make sure all doors are closed and your vehicle is turned off. Plug the programmer into the OBD2 port. This is typically located under your car's dash below the steering wheel. Once the programmer is plugged in, press lock and unlock on a remote that currently functions. Within five seconds, you will hear the programmer beep and the green LED light on the programmer will blink. Do not remove programmer. Within 20 seconds, the programmer will begin to flash the red LED light every second to indicate security access is in progress. Accessing your car's security system will take approximately 10 minutes. Do not remove the programmer during this time period. Once access to the security system is complete, the programmer will beep and the LED light on the programmer will turn green to indicate security access has been gained. Once you have gained access, press the button located on the programmer. You will hear a short beep. This signifies all previously programmed remotes have been erased and all old and new remotes are ready to be relearned to your vehicle. Once all previously programmed keys have been erased, the programmer will then let out a long beep and the green LED light will indicate this has been completed. Place a remote into the programming socket. This socket is located in your vehicle's center console. Once in position, press the button on the programmer. The programmer will let out a short beep and the LED light will remain off to indicate the remote has been detected in the socket. The red LED light on the programmer will blink until the new remote is programmed. The programmer will then beep a long beep and the green LED light will turn on to indicate that the remote has been successfully programmed. Test the remote by pressing the lock, then the unlock button of your new remote. Repeat steps 15 through 19 on the instruction sheet for any additional remotes. A maximum of four remotes can be programmed to the vehicle. When all remotes have been programmed, unplug the programmer from the OBD2 port to complete. 